Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Townie tutorial. I hope you guys are having a great day. Listen, I got a secret. All right, head over to my Twitch. Make sure you're there Monday at 4 p.m. PST. That's all I'm saying. All right, let's get into the video. Today, we're going to be talking all about MC MMO. What makes Minecraft into a World of Warcraft style RPG with different mechanics that get you different skill tree rewards that kind of make the game a lot more fun. How does a party involved with that? How does it make you better at the game? How does it make you make more money? We're gonna go into all of it right now. I mean, look at this. MCMMO kind of helped this whole thing happen. And if you saw where it is now, you would be shocked. Let's get started. First, I gotta get out of my town and go. <sighs> I hate leaving my town now. I love my town, but I gotta go to the giveaway town because I need to give you guys something amazing. Ah, oh, we're now back in my sad, depressing town. Listen, I want to make it amazing so it's worth it for you guys. So I got to start. So we're going to go ahead and just climb all the way up and get started here. MC MMO is basically bringing in traditional RPG elements into Minecraft. If you go ahead and type in slash MC stats, you'll be able to see all your stats below. If we take a look here, you can see that my excavation is already at level 37, herbalism at 23, my miner at 72, and today we're gonna to be working on wood cutting. My wood cutting's only at 12. I wanna show you what happens when you level up your wood cutting, how you get a bonus, and how quick it is to do, honestly. So every single skill in MCMMO has a bunch of different variety of options that you can choose from. There is actually a wiki that I use. It makes it a little bit easier. It'll be down below, and we're gonna be taking a look at it right now. Your MCMMO swords, axes, minings, and herbalism will probably be your mainly used MCMMO abilities on Gridcraft that will get you money. Honestly, the, the more you work on them, the more money you're gonna get paid. That's just how it works. As you can see here, I am leveling up both my wood cutting and I am leveling up my wood cutting job. So every time I cut a piece of wood, I get $4 and like 90 cents ish about around there. Every time you level up, you get more money. Every time your MCMO levels up, you have a chance to get double the wood which can then be sold for even more money. Honestly, it's great. You've been watching me jump on and off of these platforms for so long now and watching my health go down. And let's talk about why. I love MCMMO. Specifically, I love the acrobatics. It has two passive abilities and I'm gonna read them to you real quick. Roll. Rolling is a passive skill that allows a player to reduce fall damage. Every level gives a chance for a successful roll by 0.1%, with a maximum of 100% chance at level 100. That means at level 100, you will never take full fall damage no matter what, never will take full fall damage. On top of that, you have something called dodge. It's a passive skill that halves combat damage taken, including creeper explosions. So any fight or any entity that you take, you will have an ability to dodge kind of consistently, which is awesome. And then the last thing is called the graceful landing. When the shift key is held by default while landing, you can activate graceful roll. It's only effective if sneaking is started 20 blocks or fewer before impact, so you really have to time it, but it can negate 14 points of damage, seven hearts. That's huge. Honestly, graceful rolls is amazing. I've dropped, I think, 67 blocks and taken zero damage with a graceful roll. Now, you don't have to go to the wiki to learn all about MCMMO abilities. If you actually type in slash and whatever ability you want to learn about, if you place a question mark after it, you will get an in-game guide to learn about it. I use this all the time because honestly, I constantly forget, but it shows you every single ability. Here, we're talking about tree felling. You're about to see tree felling in action. If you actually pull this up, you can see everything. You can get leaf blower effect, which will take all the leaves off. Super helpful if you're trying to get rid of a forest and you're not necessarily looking to wait for all of them to go through and you're not trying to burn the whole forest down. And then the double drops like we talked about. Double drops are amazing. So just slash whatever ability you want, question mark, and it'll teach you more about it. If you do it without the question mark, it'll actually tell you all of your current stats. Let's go hit level 50 and let's show you the power of MCMMO. Listen, I, I know this whole episode's about MCMMO, but I just gotta ask, you guys made me feel good about the stones. I wanna know about horses. Does anybody else do this? Like, I, I play Minecraft, I play online, I, I play solo player, it doesn't matter, but when, when I play and I find a horse by itself, not like a horse with a bunch of other horses and planes by them, but a horse by itself, something gives me like the, the need to tame it. I don't know why. It's not a good horse, it doesn't have a lot of health, you can see at the bottom, I doubt it jumps high. I don't even think I tried. But like, something about me makes me want this horse. I do this all the time and I'll leave it. I'll leave it where I found it. I'm not gonna take it home with me. I don't know. Hey, I got it. 
While we're working on leveling up our MCMMO, I want you guys to not forget what I said last time. Quests are super important. I'm breaking down a bunch of logs and there's quests for all of this. If you pay attention, I am constantly making money. I think in this video alone, I make over 10K and it's just by doing quests for the MCMMO stuff that I'm showing you guys. Seriously, quests on the server are so good for making money. So if you still haven't made a town yet and you've done a bunch of stuff already and you just want to try and make one, do some quests, cut down some trees. It's worth it, I promise. Hear ye, hear ye. Today was the day that Gabe Barbosa Alt hit level 50 on woodcutting. No, seriously, we hit it. it. I mean, listen, all these tutorials would show you that you can do amazing stuff in such a little time. And it's time to show you guys how good Tree Feller is. Just I, watch this. All you gotta do for Tree Feller is right click with nothing else in your offhand, not looking at the tree, so right click the air. And boom, you can instant break trees. Tree Feller is an insane way. Look at it. It even counts towards your tree XP, which is kind of wild if you think about it. But it's an insane way to make money. It's super useful and super beneficial. And the longer you practice your woodcutting, the higher the skill is, the longer you have for Tree Feller. Right now, level 50, I only get three seconds, but I think at level 1,000, you get a minute of it. So imagine cutting down a forest by just walking over and smashing every tree. It's super useful. All right, it's time to talk about parties and uh, show you how awesome my town is just because we use the local party system. All right, let's talk about MC MMO parties. So in MC MMO, you can make a party. This is one of those features that really, really reminds me of WoW. I happened to make a party the day I joined the server and I made a locked party. You can see that there's a command there, it's slash party join and then the player name and then you have to put in this specific password. Now I can invite anybody to my party, but if they would like to join my party, I have to give them my password. The really cool thing is you can join a party when someone is not online. You can quit the party whenever you want. You can toggle party chat on only or toggle town chat on only, things that everyone else has seen. If you are the party leader, you can invite players, you can kick players. This is a really cool feature. You can lock and unlock your party. So if you need a bunch of people to join your party really quickly, you can just unlock it, let them all join, and then relock it. It won't ask for the same password again, and that is really, really cool. If someone in your party is causing problems, feel free to kick them out. If you need to join someone else's party temporarily, maybe you want to try and do something fun with them, you can change the leader to someone you trust, and then when you come back, they can make you the leader again. You can also disband your party. Here's the huge thing though, parties have hidden features. And those hidden features include party chat, which everyone gets, party teleport, alliances, item share, and XP share. We're gonna talk about item share and XP share because they are the most important things in the MCMMO party for Gridcraft. First, let's do the XP share side of things. This is the party share range. It's a 75 meter radius. If you don't know, every single Minecraft block is one meter. The player who is in the middle of that radius will be receiving 100% of the XP of whatever action they're doing if no one is nearby. They will receive 55 XP for every shared person inside their range. If you see player two there at the bottom is also receiving 55 XP with player three receiving nothing. If you don't know, 75 blocks is a lot. Most of the time in your town, you're gonna to be within 75 blocks of somebody. So what does this mean in a realistic range? Well, let's talk about the bonuses per member in a party. In XP Party Share, if you have one nearby member, you're gonna be receiving a 10% bonus. Let's jump all the way down to nine players nearby. You will get a 45% bonus to shared XP per person. That means every single person, when they do an action, they will be receiving 95% of that XP but so will the person in the same radius. Meaning, if you have nine players all doing the exact same action, instead of getting 100% doing it yourself, you're gonna get 95% of every single player's percentage of XP. Which means if you group up and you become a party, you can super level any MC MMO ability. To everyone who realized that you need to unlock special party levels to get all of these things, I wanna tell you how easy it is to get to level 10 of XP share. All you need to do to level up your party is have people in your party level up MC MMO. The fact that there's an MC MMO ability for every action in the game means that once you create a party, within half an hour, it'll be a level 10 party and you can turn on the XP share. About it, it's time for you to see in real time how freaking fast you can level up with party share. I am not mining at all, and I am level 511 in mining. I want you to look at how fast my party share XP is going up. 
There are three people who are AFK within 75 blocks. And this is my townmate here, Nico, who's mining for me. Look at the top of the screen. Look at this. Look at my excavation, level 32. Look at it climbing. If you're building an area for your town, let's say you're digging out a chunk, and you want to get everybody to extremely high levels of mining, all you need to do is turn on party share. I have found so many people on this server who are so successful in terms of their town who still don't use this MCMMO feature. It is godlike. Godlike. Last feature we're going to talk about here is the item sharing feature. You can turn on item sharing for multiple different things, and it is exactly what it sounds like. Do you want to have a little mining party and make sure everyone gets a fair split of materials? Check out Nico mining all of this iron. I'm not doing nothing. I just get to sit here and collect some of the goods. It's actually splitting the iron between me, Nico, and the two other AFK people nearby. Everyone is getting an even split of the profits. So if you set up a beacon in the mining world and you're just mining to get some grid disc, if everybody goes down there, you're gonna be sharing profits of diamonds, emeralds, and more. It's a really easy way to make sure that everything stays fair. And as the party leader, I mean, you can kick people out and you can control what happens. So even the item share is an amazing feature for people who are just trying to work together. That's everything you need to know about MCMMO to start off. I mean, there's a lot more, but like I said, there is a wiki, it will be down below. I have a question for you guys. I need you guys to talk to me and tell me, are you okay with me doing some off recording work in this town for you? I wanna build some really cool things. Um, some things I need to make on video because they're useful tutorials. Some things I don't, like for example, digging the rest of this stone out. You guys let me know if you're okay with it. If you're not, I'm totally cool with that too. I still have under three hours of playtime on this account. I'm already leveling a crap ton in all of my stuff and I'm excited to do more. Now, for everyone who stuck around, remember, we're giving away 100K each day. So make sure you stick around, leave a comment, let me know what your townie name is, tell me what you thought about the video. Most importantly, follow me on Twitter because I will be announcing a fishing jamboree very soon. I wanna get about 20 people into a party and have a fishing competition and everyone gets to fish together. We all get levels and whoever catches the most fish wins like, I don't know, $400,000, something like that in townie. Should be a lot of fun. Make sure you check all of that out. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to the channel if you like it. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.